Since I started with 3D printing, I always wanted to do multicolor prints like this one that I have here. I mainly use 3D printing for my drones and for my drone business, and these kind of things are very sexy and very interesting for the customers. But multicolor 3D printing has been something a bit obscure for me until I got the AMS from Bamboo Labs. This AMS system is something that you add to your 3D printing to Bamboo 3D printers and you can use up to, I think it's 16 filaments, different colors to do your multicolor print. But there is a catch. The thing is that this AMS doesn't work with TPU, which is the main kind of filament that I use for FPV drones. Regular 95A TPU is what is normally used for FPV because it's kind of indestructible. You get your parts printed there and you cover your drone with it and then you're offering an extra level of security for your drones. So for example, we normally get our action cameras like the GoPro inside one of these cases to protect the screen and protect the camera itself when we crash and trying to do tricks and trying to fly our FPV drones at very high speeds. But now Bamboo Labs has developed something that they are calling TPU for AMS, which is this that I have here, which is a flexible filament, not as flexible as the 95A TPU that we normally use, but because of this rigidity and these new characteristics of this filament, you can use it in the AMS without having to be scared that it gets stuck in the system or that it creates something bad in your AMS. Besides it, it has some good characteristics like less stringing, because normally when you are printing with TPU 95A, you get a lot of strings. This is very typical from the regular TPU. Also with this, TPU for AMS, you can print at high speed or higher speeds than what you are normally used to with TPU 95A. In this chart, you can see the difference between some TPU kinds. In FPV, we use normally 95A, as I've been saying, while this Bamboo Lab TPU for AMS is 68D. The TPU for AMS is harder in this chart, but it doesn't look that different than the regular TPU. My idea with this video is to test this new TPU for AMS to see if it works with the regular parts that I normally have on my drones. What I'm going to do is to print a few of those parts that I print for my customers and for myself with this new TPU, maybe add some multicolors to see how it works and see how it turns out. Can we actually use this TPU for AMS with our hobby on, in the FPV? Let's see. Printing with this TPU for AMS filament is a breeze, as everything that else that Bamboo Lab has done so far. You load your spools in the AMS, they are automatically recognized by the hardware, the software reflects this information, and it's just to select the colors, paint your STL in the screen, and the filament in the Bamboo Lab Studio that you're going to be using. Then you're ready. That's what you need to do to print with this TPU. Looking at the results that we get when printing with this TPU for AMS, the prints are beautiful. You get very high quality on the print itself. The speeds are close to what you use when you're printing with PLA, much faster than printing even with TPU high flow. Of course, if you have done multicolor before with a uh, Bamboo Lab printer, you know that you spend a lot of filament just changing the color and doing the porch tower and this kind of thing, which is not something that I really like, but at the same time, it's something that I can live with if I'm doing just a few parts. I printed a few typical parts, fits, camera cases, camera holders, canopies, etc. And my conclusion is this. This TPU works in some parts, and despite it's very easy to print with and it can be used by the AMS, it can be more complicated when we're using it to print parts for FPV. Let me tell you why I'm thinking about this. Let me start with the drone feet. Look at the quality, they are very tough. They will most probably add less vibration than regular TPU since they have screws going through them, but they are much stiffer. There is no chance this part will delaminate, 
so I think for the feet this print will work perfectly. Now let's move to this canopy. It printed much nicer than its regular TPU counterpart. Again, I think it will be crash resistant for a small part or for a small drone like a 1S Tiny Whoop. The only big difference with the regular TPU is that you have to be more careful with the tolerances. When I was going to insert the camera in here, I had more problems than with the regular TPU, the 95A, because I guess that the 95A gives more uh, space or you can flex it more and you can get the camera in there. So you might need to adjust your tolerances when you're printing with this TPU for AMS if you are thinking about having something that fits perfectly and that will hold just by friction. I have this other canopy that I designed for 1S which so far looks fine, like I can bend it to the way it should be to be mounted on the drone and even this part here which seems to be very delicate and very skinny I've been doing I've been moving it and I've been trying to break it it's it hasn't broken yet but I don't know why I have the feeling that it will break soon this battery holder also seems to work very fine since it doesn't have any skinny areas or anything prone to break but let's have a look at this action camera case. Just trying to get the camera in and out broke the slip. The part where the camera screws to the mount seems a little bit tougher and most probably it's because of the orientation that they have when they are printing. Still, I managed to break it. If you look at it, after many times flipping it up and down, the, it, it just gave up. Thinking about orientation and in feel, I decided to print some other parts to do some tests. If you look at the one that I have here, this is a camera mount. The, the green part broke pretty easily, but again, at this point I was using only 35 or 40% in feel. So I decided to bump it up to 100% and see what happened. And I got this new part. This is printed in 100% with the same orientation and you can see that it's much more tougher it's much more difficult to break it the same way that the other part broke but still after many times pushing it up and down and doing everything that i could to it i could break it on the top of one of the ears Another good thing about this TPU for AMS is that if you're printing with supports, it's also very easy. You can remove that support with a plier or something, sometimes even with your fingers. And the part ends up being very nice. And the removing process is quick and simple. And here are my conclusions around the question if we can use this filament for our FPV hobby. I have to say, I love the way that it prints, like the quality of these kind of prints is really nice and the fact that I can get dual color in this camera mount, it's pretty cool. I could do much, much, many more designs, I could do much more with this having 4 or 16 colors and it would be excellent and cool. But what I have to say is it will really depend on the part that you are going to use. As I mentioned during this video, something like the feed worked pretty well. It was stiff enough to work as a feed. It was flexible enough to be resistant for, to the crashes because of the shape or because of the, the constitution of that part. It's a solid part. It doesn't have any small part that is flexible. But when we are getting to things like our camera cases or the camera mount, which are going to be you know, receiving much more hits when you are crashing. I don't think it's something that you want to print with this TPU because they are giving up kind of easy. If you compare to a regular 95A, which is almost kind of like indestructible, you can hit that thing with a hammer and nothing is going to happen. There is no comparison at that point. But you have to consider the price of the filament as well. I have this 95A TPU from ABOS, which is my favorite drying now because it prints very fast and with very good quality. And I pay something around 12, 15 US dollars for a kilo or I don't remember if it's 800 grams, but 
for a full spool, a big one. While the AMS, the TPU for AMS, this Bamboo Lab new one, cost around $40, 40 US dollars for a spool. Almost double the price that you have to consider. You have to think about it that if you are on the FPD hobby, you're going to be paying double the price for this filament to have to design, redesign your part or be very careful how you're going to print it and make sure that the part itself is not going to have anything that could be prone to break just to make it multicolor. So it's up to you. That's the question that you have to answer. Is multicolor that valuable that you are willing to go through all these hoops to print it? You tell me. If you want, leave a comment in the video and let me know your thoughts about this. This is what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.